All right, guys. Wonder Weasel back here today in Gatlinburg. Yes, I know we're in the vehicle. Uh, pardon me on that, but I have to do this to show you something. We have taken you to the ferry house in the past. I've had many comments and stuff on the video and everything of people want to find it. They want to know how to get to it. So that is going to be the goal today. I'm going to show you video wise and give you the directions to the ferry house out of Gatlinburg. We are actually right here on the parkway going up toward the Space Needle. We will turn by the Space Needle up here. We will turn up here at the Space Needle light here in just a few minutes and I will show you directions all the way up roadway to where you go to where you're going to park to the area to get to the ferry house and from where we park up all the way to the ferry house i'm going to give you step by step uh, directions up to it i know a lot of y'all have asked how to get to it uh, some have tried to go and find it could not find it so that is the goal for today's video to the ferry house so come along with us as we show you the directions all right guys we've made it up the parkway to the gatlinburg inn and the sky lift to the sky bridge and after we pass that we will be up here to the turn off to the space needle that is going to take us on our journey today to show you how to get to the ferry house All right, guys, we are going to turn up by the Space Needle right here in Gatlinburg. coming off the top of the mountain is wild looking look on guys you can see the big round hotel up there on the mountain that is park vista i'm sure like i said most of y'all have seen that uh you're gonna have to keep that in mind as the directions to the ferry house you're gonna go up to where you would go by the entrance dip but you're going to mirror left or right handed from where you go up the road to Park Vista. Like as you're gonna go into the Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail up into that part of the National Park. We're not gonna go plumb that far because it's back this side of that. You're allowed to go by the Sydney James on your way to. I believe that's your last hotel on the right before you head up, isn't it? Sydney James Motor Lodge is the last one on the right as you're heading that way. Okay, you see the Park Vista sign to the Big Hilton's Hotel up on the hill. You're gonna stay right-handed of their entrance, like you're going Cherokee Orchard Road is what the name is. You're heading toward Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail. Really pretty area to come up through. I mean, even if you don't want to go all the way around up through the Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail, just up this part of it, it's still a pretty little drive for to have a short one. That's pretty well. The leaves up in here actually have got some colors, guys. 
We got a little final color. I just haven't gotten the right places yet. We just passed the Great Smoky Mountain National Park sign. You've entered the National Park area. Part of the National Park. There's so many different areas into it that you can access it from. Yeah, guys, we're starting to get a little bit of fall color up through here, thankfully. I was beginning to question if fall had forgotten to show up. Mm -hmm. Apparently not. Hmm. Well, no roadside parking up there. Don't know why that is right now. It's a bit unusual. I know it's not a whole lot of fall color we got, but enjoy what we do have for the time being. I'm a little intrigued by this snow roadside parking currently. Like it's nowhere up there here. It's very unusual for the Ryan Fork area. Yeah. I don't know what's going on, but y'all better not park there. <laughs> Alright guys, we are going out what they call Twin Creek area. That is going out to the parking lot where we can take you to the ferry house on foot. We will park out here and then take you there. Uh, give us just a minute when we get parked. Uh, I've got to change into some little bit, little bit better different shoes for getting off in the woods because it is a little bit of a muddy area all right guys now we are parked out here near the ferry house uh, we have showed you this area where the they had dammed it up to have the pool and everything um, now we're going to take you out actually on foot and show you how to get to the ferry house all right, guys, now we're on foot toward the ferry house. I'll uh, show you how to get to it. They have really redone these bridges. They used to not be this high. Holy, that's a heck of a hump. All right, guys, like I said, it's coming out of the parking lot, come around there, you can see, you'll see these buildings. When you cross that last bridge, go right-handed and around. Okay, you see the chain link fence? You will stay right-handed of that chain link fence between it and this barn. I guess it's a barn. The barn always has the AC unit upstairs on regardless of the time of year. Yeah. Never understood that. Yeah. Um, 
I know it's grassy right through here, guys. It's not beat down. Don't let that deter you. Just go through there. You're allowed to. They're not going to say nothing as long as you're wandering through and going to the ferry house. Usually if there's any park service here, they will tell you how to get there if you need help. Uh, when you come to the back side of the chain link fence, you'll see this little walk trail. Like I said, make sure you got old tennis shoes or boots. Do not do this in sandals or flip flops. As you can see, it is kind of weedy. Uh, most of them, it's pretty muddy. This is an area that don't dry out real well, even when it's dry everywhere else. Mm, the fair house is a spring house. So yeah, it's a spring house. You know, so it's going to be wet. Like I said, old tennis shoes or boots of some variety hiking boots or work boots, hunting boots, whatever your preference. I done it in a pair of just a cowboy boots one time and I don't advise it. Stolen and trail runners on this shoes either. No. You'll come up behind this chain link fence on this walk trail. Actually, you can come in from another side the upper side of that chain link fence. But then you will turn, you'll see the trail mirror off right-handed. And when you start up it, you can see the fair house up here behind the trees. Um, you'll probably wanna walk up a little bit up the trail. Or into it to explore it. Yeah. It was allowed. Yeah. You can go all the way up to the ferry house. That's not a problem. The people don't mind. They don't mind as long as you're just not vandalizing. Uh, um, I'd been better off to go that way. trail out <laughs> it's a little bit more track now than the first time we was ever in here yeah oh you're going up that side okay I'm going up the left side of the area <clears throat> and as you can see the ferry house right up here guys that is how you get to the ferry house step by step like I said I know a lot of you all have commented and questioned how to get to it you've tried to find it or wanted to find it and could not so there you go guys like I said you can go all the way up to it I took you up to it before and showed it to you so I wanted to give you the directions to it. We'll walk back up here. It might have a little bit more water in it today than the last time. Hey, right, it's a little bit of a rocky trail on places. A little muddy, like I said, just be careful. Use your own judgment. Oh. Not the greatest of steps. But they're they're passable. Huh. Yeah, we got a little bit more water this time than last. Whew. That's a little bit of a walk. Yeah, they've cleaned it up. You hear the water trickling. Wished I had me a cup. 
and get you some water out of that spring that's naturally coming out of the mountain. And I wonder why your wife standing down here below looking up on. But yeah, guys, that is step by step directions to the ferry house. Uh, so now you know how to get to it. And everything. Alright, guys. Thank you for coming along with us for showing you the directions to the ferry house here today. Uh, if you like this vlog, uh, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so so far. And if you're new here, we do upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, guys, before I forget, uh, don't forget to ring those notification bells to keep your notifications rolling. And as I keep saying, we'll keep shooting them. Y'all keep watching. And this is Wonder Weasel signing off from the ferry house in Gatlinburg off of Cherokee Orchard Trail headed toward Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail.